What's going on guys? Check this thing out. It's freaking awesome. It's from NECA. It's the replica from Friday the 13th part 3. My wife got it for me as like an early birthday present. My birthday's in two weeks. September 22nd, I'll be 31 years old. Ugh, I'm freaking old guys, but man, I feel like a kid at heart and I'm so glad I have this. It's freaking awesome. It's heavy. It looks just like the mask from part 3. Obviously it's a replica, but still, it's freaking awesome. I wasn't expecting it to be that great. Because, I don't know, like, sometimes replicas aren't as great as you would think they would be, but this one is awesome. And if you want a pretty good Jason mask, pick this up for sure. I'm not advertising, I'm just saying, pick it up. It's freaking awesome. Okay, guys, before we get started, as I've showed you that, I want to show you something else, and I want to talk about a good friend of mine. His name's Corey Klein. He makes awesome art, and I want to show it off. He made me this awesome Deadpool shirt. I hope you guys can see it really good. It is freaking badass. I couldn't wear it. He drew this with a Sharpie, and that is fucking excellent. I mean, check this out. It's freaking awesome, man. Like, if you love art or anything like this, if you want, like, Deadpool or Jason or anything, like, anything that, you know, within reason, of course, that you want him to draw, check him out. He's one of my best friends from high school. We go back a long way, and he's an excellent artist, as you can see. So check him out. You can follow him on Instagram, Corey C. Klein, or just Corey Klein. Whatever you type in, you'll come up. You'll see the art on his page, as, as you can see down here. Freaking awesome work, man. And definitely check him out for sure, please. And you can message him if you want some art for yourself, and he'll draw him up for you, and he'll sit mail out to you. Freaking awesome dude. Again, amazing talent. Check him out, please. Okay. Let's get started. Now first I want to apologize because I made a mistake last week when I was doing the giveaway for the Blu-ray update, alright? City Slickers. It does not come with a digital code. Yeah. All the other ones I had came with digital code. I know I should have checked, but I thought that all these damn things came with digital code because all the other Deadpool photobomb slipcovers came with a digital code. Except for this one, of all things, and everybody wanted City Slickers, and I don't blame them because it's an awesome movie. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something different. In the comments below, if you want City Slickers, just comment that you want it, and I'll give it to you. I'll mail it to you, because obviously there's no digital code, so I'll just mail it to you. So just leave your email or information, I'll send you a message, and you need to give me your address, and I'll mail it out to you. That way you guys can get it. If, if that's what you want, this is what I'll do. I'll do that for you. That way I can just go out and buy another copy because I feel bad because I thought this has a digital code and all you guys wanted it. So this is my apology for you. So if you want it, I'll mail it out to you. How's that sound? Is that all right? Let me know. Also, I got some extra digital codes here that were from like a few weeks ago that nobody ever claimed because I couldn't get a hold of them and I left several things in my other videos saying, hey, if you want your digital codes, get them. But they never responded, so we got two Logans here to give away. X-Men Days of Future Past and X-Men First Class. So those will be in the running for this update. So if you want those, obviously, you know what to do. All right. And also, before getting the update, I almost forgot, Jesus, to announce the winners of the last update. Obviously, nobody won City Slickers, but again, if you want that, you know what to do. All right. Dylan Flickinger, Double Wears Plot. <laughs> Plata, Parada, Parada, Parada. I'm saying that wrong. Devil Wars Parada. There we go. Yeah, that was right. Okay. Dwight McCoy, 127 hours. Bugs Killa, Star Trek Beyond. Nicole Jones, Apollo 13. Joe Sonny, The Day After Tomorrow. David Wrongway, War for the Planet of the Apes. Jesus. Matthew Aguirre, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And Chip Douglas, Alien. Congratulations to all of you that won those movies, those digital codes. Okay, let's get into the new digital codes. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry guys if I feel like I'm kind of out there. It's just because I've been sick for the last few days and I've been feeling that great. So I'm just coming off of like a, a high, I guess. I know I didn't get high. I just mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I really don't. Okay. Nocturnal Animals. This thing is awesome. Jake Gyllenhaal, Amy Adams. Fantastic movie. It's it's a really hard watch at times. Like there's some stuff that happened in here. It was hard for me to sit through, but I watched it anyway because you know I like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's awesome, and 
as usual, he gives a great performance. A little different performance from, you know, obviously all of his performances are different, but yeah, this one's really, it's a really strange movie at times, but it does have a really good story, and just the way that it ends is pretty fucked up, and, but it's a great movie. I liked it, uh, yeah, so Nocturnal Animals, Nocturnal, Eternal, Jesus. See, I can't talk, guys. All right, next up. Do not blame me for having these, okay? I I know that I'm like a, a bad person and I should just be castrated for having these movies. I shouldn't even have a dick, but I have them. Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades of Grey Darker. Now, the only reason I have these is because, you know, I have my wife and my daughter-in-law that live with me, so obviously they watch this movie. I've watched the first one. And that was enough for me. But what can I say about these movies other than I don't like them. I think they're stupid. They suck. And the books don't even get me started. But the digital codes are available if you guys want them. And that's it if you want them. If you want them, okay, good for you. That's cool. And that gets this away from me. Even though I still own this and I think I should burn every copy in the world. But, you know, whatever. If, here it is. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, man. I think this was... Yeah, Tim Burton. I, see? I almost forgot. Edward Scissorhands. Fun movie. It really is. It's different. Of course, Johnny Depp playing some strange, kooky character, as he usually does, but he does it well. And this is actually a pretty, pretty nice movie. It's been a while since I've seen it, actually, and I kind of don't remember how it ends, but I'm definitely going to rewatch it. But, yeah. Edward Scissorhands. Next one up is Chappie. I know a lot of people didn't like this movie, and honestly, I can see why in some aspects, because the actors that they chose to be in this, to kind of go with Chappie and on the, his adventure or whatever, yeah, it was kind of a weird choice, but I, I enjoyed Chappie. I thought it was very good. Actually, you Jackman in this movie, like, I don't know. I did not like him in this movie, and I love you Jackman. But for some reason, I did not like him in this movie. And it was mostly just his character. But, I mean, you're not supposed to like him, obviously, because he's the bad guy. But still, like, yeah, I enjoyed Chappie. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right, and last up is Arrival. This movie surprised the hell out of me. This was a slow build, but it was damn good. I loved the story, and of course, Amy Adams and the acting and everything was fantastic man this movie was great it was one of the better sci-fi movies i've seen in a long time i had a great time watching this surprised me really well really great ah i loved it yes <laughs> all right that is it for the update guys uh you know what to do just leave your comments and your information your email your instagram however you want me to reach you and again if you want city slickers just leave uh, you know, your email and all that stuff, and I'll send you a message to whoever the winner is. That way you can give me your address, and I can mail it out to you. That way you'll have it for once. And until then, until next time, I will see you guys later. And, you know, more updates and stuff to come. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>